हेलो चिल्ड्रेन साईराम सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू चैप्टर नंबर सेवन दैट इज फैक्टर्स एंड मल्टीपल्स टुडे विल सी पार्ट टू सो चिल्ड्रेन लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट फैक्टर्स व्हाट आर फैक्टर्स सो द नंबर्स विच आर मल्टीप्लाइड टुगेदर टू गिव अ प्रोडक्ट आर नोन एज फैक्टर्स ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट ओके like i gave you one example here as well that is 2 multiplied by 3 here so when we'll multiply 2 by 3 we'll get 6 so here 2 and 3 what are they 2 and 3 are factors of 6 okay so the number the factors of a number divide the number completely without leaving a remainder okay like here this 6 will be divisible by 2 and 3 as well without leaving any remainder okay then children we discussed about the number two types of number that is prime number and composite number so what is a prime number so prime number has only two factors that is 1 and itself okay whereas composite number has more than two factors okay some examples were also given like 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 so many prime numbers are there and then the example of composite numbers are also been given here like 4 6 8 9 10 12 15 14 16 18 21 like this 20 21 these are the example of composite numbers so children today we will move further and we will see what is prime factorization okay so factorization we know what are factors now what is factorization factorization means writing a number as a product of its factors okay we can write every composite number you know what is a composite number so we can write every composite number as a product of its factors that are prime numbers when we write a composite number as a product of its factors which are prime numbers then that is called prime factorization now how to find the prime factors of a number so there are two methods that is first one is factor tree method and the second one is the division method so today we will see how to find the prime factors of a number using these two methods so children here first we will see the factor tree method now in factor tree method we keep breaking down a number into factors till all the factors are prime numbers these prime numbers are usually circled let's do one example then you will easily get the idea how to do the prime factorization so first we'll write this number here which is 24 that we'll write here 24 and now children what two numbers what two factors when we'll multiply when what two numbers when we'll multiply which will give us the product as 24 yes so many number like you can say 2 12 are 12 2 are 24 then 3 8 are 24 4 6 are 24 8 3 are 24 isn't it 6 4 are 24 or 4 6 are 24 so any number two numbers you can take whose product will be 24 so let's take the number 3 8 sir 24 so we will make a branch like this and then one side we will write 3 and other side we will write 8 so 3 8 sir 24 now because this 3 is a prime number so we will circle it and now we'll keep further further we will divide this number 8 so what two numbers will be which two numbers will be when multiply will give 8 yes 2 4 sir 
so two fours are eight okay now we'll circle this two here now which two numbers when multiplied will give four here yes two so two two za four now this two is a prime number so we will circle them both okay so what is the prime what will be the prime factorization of 24 so we will write it like 24 is equal to 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 this we have written 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 got it children now you can also draw it like this you will first write 24 like here you will write 24 then you will write 4 6 a 24 and then you will further divide it until you get the till you get the prime factors of a given that given number okay so now 4 can be written here as 2 2 a 4 and this 6 can be further divided as and it can be written as the product of 2 and 3 here so 2 3 is a 6 you can draw it in your notebook then you can color it with uh, you can see i have used different colors here you can also draw and color like this in your notebook as an activity okay children now you can also draw the factor tree like this but simply how we'll write the fra fra uh, factors of 36 prime factorization of 36 here I, you can see the numbers 6 6 are 36 are being taken the product is taken here as 6 6 are 36 but you can use the different numbers as well which we whose product will be 36 so let's take here 4 9 are 36 okay now we'll further divide 4 so what two which two numbers when multiplied will give you 4 so 2 2 is a 4 okay so now we will circle it why because 2 is a prime number now and then 9 can be written here as the product of 3 3 is a 9 so we will circle this 3 as well because that is also a prime number now how we can write this 36 here 36 here can be written here as a 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 got it children or you can draw it like this as well okay now children that was factor tree method to get the prime factors of a given number now we'll see that other method the second method to get the prime factors of a number that is division method now in the division method we start with the smallest prime number that can divide the given number exactly now keep dividing by prime numbers till the quotient becomes one like one example is there write the prime factorization of 64 using the division method let's take one example then you will understand like you have to do the prime factorization of this number 64 here so first we will draw like this and then we will write number 64 here now we will what will be the smallest prime number which can divide this 64 children you know that 64 is an even number because at the ones place in the ones place there is 4 so it will be divisible by 2 so we'll start with 2 now 2 3 is a 6 and 2 2 is a 4 or you can divide 64 by 2 then you will get 32 that 32 you will write here now again this 32 will be divisible by 2 so we will divide it so 2 ones are 2 so 1 will be remaining so now we have 1 2 12 so 2 6 are 12 okay or 16 twos are 32 isn't it now further we will divide this 16 by the smallest prime number so it will be divisible by 2 so 2 8s are 16 now again we will divide it by 
2 because that is divisible by 2. So, 2 4s are 8. Then again 2 2s are 4. And then 2 1s are. You have to keep on dividing till you get the till you get 1 in the end. At the end you should get this 1. Okay. Now this 64 can be written here as how many times 2 is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we will write it as 2 multiplied by 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 2. 6 times I have written here. Okay. So in this way we do the prime factorization using division method. Now let's take one more example. They are number 35. So that we will write here. Now what will be the smallest prime number which will be dividing this 35? Yes, it will be 5. So 5 7s are 35. And because 7 is a prime number, so it will be divisible by itself only. So 7 1s are 7. So what will be the prime factorization of 35? It will be 5 multiplied by 7. Okay children? So in this way we find the, we do the prime factorization using division method. Okay. Now let's move to the next example. One more example. Like write 84 as the product of its prime factors. So first we will write 84 here. This is children, this I have already drawn but that is not necessary. You will draw these many steps only. You have to just see how long it goes, how long you keep dividing. Accordingly, you will draw like, draw lines like this. Okay. So, we will start with, first we will write here 84. And now, what will be the smallest prime number which will be dividing this 84? Yes, it will be 2 because 84, 84 is an even number. So, it will be divisible by 2. So, 2 4s are 8, 2 2s are 4. Okay. Or you, if you will divide this 84 by 2, you will get 42 here. Now, when you will divide this 42, again it will be divisible by 2. So, 2 2s are 4 and 2 1s are 2. Okay. Now, 21 is divisible by 3. 3 is the smallest prime number which will be dividing this 21. So, 3 7s are 21 and then 7 1s are. So, what will be the prime factorization of 84? It will be 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 7. Okay, children? So, this is the division method to find the prime factorization of a number. Now, children, what are common factors? Now, to find the common factors of two or more numbers, find the factors of each number and then identify the common factors. Like one example is there, find the common factors of 6 and 18. So first we will write the factors. You have to find the common factors of 6 and 18. So first we will write factors of 6. Which are the numbers which will completely divide this 6, okay, without leaving any remainder. So, I already told you, we know that, that 1 is the factor of each number, every number. So, first we will write 1, then, then uh, this 6 is, is it divisible by 2? Yes. So, 2, then 3 twos are 6, then 6 itself. Okay. Now we will write the factors of 18. So 1 is the factor of every number. So that we will write. Then 2 9s are 18. That also we will write. Then 3 6s are 18. That also we will write. Then 6 3s are 18 also we will write. Then 9 is also there. And then 18 itself. Now amongst these children, what are the common factors? So, 1 is the common factor of, 1 is the common factor here. 
okay then which are the common factors 2 is there in both the numbers so 2 also we will write then 3 is also there in both the numbers 3 is also a common factor here then this 6 is also a common factor here so that we will write now we don't have any common factors so what are the common factors of 6 and 18 1 2 3 and 6 Got it children? So in this way we find the common factors of any uh, two or more numbers. First we write the factors of those numbers and then whatever common factors are there we circle them and then we write the common factors of the of two or more numbers. Okay children? So children here I have given you some questions to practice. Like here you have to write the prime factorization using factor tree method and then division method. Okay. You will practice for these questions in your maths homework notebook. Okay children. So bye for now. Thank you.